to WrestleMania 37 begins tonight with tonight's WWE Royal Rumble event. You might be asking yourself, why am I recording an audio-only live reaction play? Watch a long stream live right here on YouTube. Well, was uh, put in a situation, a little bit of a dilemma uh, with some uh, technical difficulties. Uh, yes, I was in fact live uh, just a little bit ago, live right here on YouTube with actual uh, live reactions, play by play, an actual live reaction video stream uh, for tonight's Royal Rumble event. Uh, however, uh, due to some major severe technical difficulties, um, was uh, unable to proceed. Um, honestly, really couldn't even um, speak more than a, a few words at a time before it would buffer, disconnect, and reconnect uh, more than uh, I do believe it ever has done in the past, and hopefully. Uh, we can get all the kinks worked out and, you know, move along. But uh, nonetheless, uh, decided uh, just do the fact, really, uh, for myself at least right now, no other way uh, for an actual live reaction play play stream. So um, the first half of this video, um, as uh, technically this is going to be um, a recap of uh, the Royal Rumble uh, that uh, is, uh, for the most part, uh, still uh, undecided at this point in time as in fact I ended up uh, pausing uh, the rumble on the network uh, decided to do of course what I'm doing now um, the opening contest after the kickoff pre-show match that was for the women's tag team titles Oscar and Charlotte versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler we'll get into that match along with everything else uh Hopefully here uh, sometime soon, but yeah, regardless, nonetheless, um, ended up pausing uh, just so I wouldn't get behind and, of course, watch the Rumble then at a later date. Of course, still want to do what I would normally do, uh, but of course now just hopefully just this uh, one and only time here tonight, um, sit down and uh, do an audio-only live reaction, but... Um, the first half of this is just going to be because I didn't even do a preview uh, either uh, for the Rumble, unfortunately. Um, everything I'm about to say, um, and I'm, I'm sure I'll repeat myself a few times uh, just to make sure um, I get my point across and uh, everyone understands. Now, if you do have chat questions or comments, uh, feel free to drop those below. And the thumbs up button, like, follow, and subscribe as always on social media. Links in the description below. But um, what I'm about to say, this first half, because this is technically just going to be a recap, but split in two, as I still at this point in time do not know outcomes of the Royal Rumble matches this evening. So um, I'm going to preview like I uh, normally would, you know, the first 15 or so odd minutes before the pay-per-view would normally begin. Um, and then uh, my plan is uh, to take notes while watching uh, the Rumble by myself, unfortunately, not doing live reactions play by play uh, due to technical difficulties once again. So, sorry for any issues this might have caused. As um, yes, I am uh, very upset, very pissed off right now at the uh, good old YouTube. Um, as uh, hey, if everything else is working perfectly fine connection wise with Wi Fi, and um, I'm able to, you know, watch on the network. Um, the Royal Rumble event, along with being able to do everything else I'm uh, currently doing or uh, normally do while live streaming, yet YouTube once again with the streaming buffer, disconnect, reconnect. If it's not one thing, it's another. It's always something new, it seems like. It is what it is, though. I'll digress, but uh, yeah, so just wanted to uh, set the scene there a little bit. And as mentioned, if you have uh, any uh, chat questions or comments, let me know. Hopefully I explain that uh, good enough for everyone to understand sort of a uh, difficult, very weird uh, time right now for, of course, all of us. Hopefully everyone's staying safe. But um, I've never had, um, yes, I've had technical difficulties in the past, but nothing this severe. Um, and as I was saying, honestly, couldn't even, you know, say a few words without it going out. It really wasn't worth it, uh, to, 
to keep uh, messing with it to, you know, potentially get it, you know, up and running. And as it was up and running, um, and then, of course, it, it went, it kept going out on me. And um, as mentioned, if it's not, you know, one thing that's another, it's always something new. Hell, I had YouTube say, hey, there's no audio or video playing. Uh, but in the meantime, the video is currently running, but then the buffering and disconnect and all that's happening. So, hey, YouTube, if you're listening, watching, as I always say, um, help fell out and um, let's, you know, try to work this out together and see what the hell's going on because there's no reason for this whatsoever. There's no excuse on why this um, should be uh, giving me this much of um, a problem um, as many times it's done it, but nothing as, as mentioned severe as it um, was just uh, a little bit ago. So, um, yeah, Royal Rumble tonight, Road WrestleMania kicks off. Uh, so this first half is going to be, because I didn't do a preview prediction, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I normally would uh, at the beginning of a live stream anyway, so um, that's what this first half is going to be, and then we'll pick it up um, after officially I watch the Royal Rumble in its entirety. Uh, currently six matches on the card, four championship matches, two Royal Rumble matches as well. We'll get more into those in a second. Uh, but uh, once I watch this in its entirety, uh, in the meantime, taking notes on, um, you know, everything I see, as I would call it, you know, while uh, sitting down and watching these events, calling live reactions, play, play um, as I normally would anyway. So, yeah, just a little different. Still wanted to get a video out for it, of course. That's why I'm doing this. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying and, you know, hopefully... You understand, but um, thank you for tuning in and watching, listening, technically audio only uh, here for this. But uh, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe as always on social media. Links in the description below, the thumbs up button, share hashtag WWE, hashtag Royal Rumble, chat questions and comments, super chat, super stickers. Always greatly appreciated as well. Upcoming schedule uh, this Wednesday, hopefully by then we'll have everything figured out. Uh, AEW Dynamite Beach Break with WWE NXT live reactions. Play play live right here on YouTube as well. So hit that red subscribe button, little notify bell next to it as well. Uh, next Sunday, Super Bowl 55 with the Chiefs and Buccaneers. In a few weeks, the next WWE NXT TakeOver event followed by the Elimination Chamber. Uh, and then, of course, Fastlane and WrestleMania 37 are the falling pay per views for the WWE. Until WrestleMania 37, April the 10th and 11th, respectively, back in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. AEW also have a uh, Revolution uh, pay-per-view. Uh, not exactly sure at this point in time the exact date as they were uh, moving that around. Late February, early March, sometime in there. Of course, NFL offseason as well. So uh, plenty of uh, upcoming videos right here on the YouTube channel. So just be sure to uh, subscribe as always and uh, keep an eye out for all that in the near future and uh without any further ado i guess uh we should get into it and uh from uh now until of course when i pick up uh with the uh full recap um with uh the wwe royal rumble event here this evening uh this will uh technically just be a short preview because i really didn't do a preview um so at this point in time haven't watched um, the Royal Rumble, uh, just so everyone knows, n nothing uh, along the lines of all, yeah, this dude already watched it, knows everything that happened, and, uh, you know, afterwards he's going back and, you know, saying he said all this shit and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, really doesn't bother me, care less, but, um, you know, free speech. Everybody has their own opinion. So, um, as I mentioned, just wanted to set the scene there um, on, um, situation I'm you know currently in uh, due to um, everything going on but um, yeah WWE Royal Rumble let's get ready to rumble we're uh, officially now on the road to WrestleMania 37 Mania 36 was supposed to take place in Tampa of course because of COVID was moved to Orlando 37 this year was supposed to take place in LA 39 will now host LA in a few years in 2023 38 back in the Big D, Dallas, Texas at AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. 37 back in Tampa, Raymond James Stadium, which is also hosting Super Bowl 
next weekend as well with the defending Super Bowl 54 champion Kansas City Chiefs as they go up against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But um, we're officially now on the road to WrestleMania 37. As mentioned, currently six matches on the card. Uh, Technically, one of these have already uh, taken place because, as mentioned, I was on YouTube doing live reactions, play play, of course, and then uh, everything that happened happened, of course, and... You know, now here we are. Uh, hey, sometimes you uh, got to act fast and you know figure out what you're gonna do. And just with the situation, you know, this is what I decided on doing. So, as I mentioned, hopefully you enjoy. But um, the women's tag team title match, a TLC rematch, uh, as well. I might add, uh, as we uh, do have three of those here this evening. Uh, the others being Sasha Banks and Carmella, along with uh, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens. We'll get into both of those in a second. But uh, Oscar and Charlotte versus Nia and Shayna was on the main card. Move to kick off pre-show. Um, Oscar, who is your Raw Women's Champion, um, needed a tag team partner at TLC Tables, Ladders and Chairs right before Christmas, a little over a month ago now. Uh, Charlotte was that mystery partner. Uh, she returned. Oscar and Charlotte defeated the then champions, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. And uh, now, uh, tonight, WWE Royal Rumble, actually just a little bit ago, um, defended their newly won WWE Women's Tag Team titles against Nia and Shayna, the former champs. However, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are now, once again, your new WWE Women's Tag Team champions. So Oscar and Charlotte losing tonight. At the Royal Rumble to Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. We also, as mentioned, have uh, Sasha Banks, the boss herself, uh, defending the SmackDown Women's title against Carmella. The former Scottish psychopath in Drew McIntyre will defend his WWE Championship versus Bill I Can't Wrestle Goldberg, as Goldberg, Goldberg, as uh, people have been calling him as of late after he returned uh, earlier this month during Raw Legends Night at the start of the new year, so that will be your WWE Championship match, McIntyre and Goldberg, as uh, this time of year, uh, the past few years or so, uh, when Goldberg has in fact returned, um, he's defeated Kevin Owens and The Fiend Bray Wyatt to become WWE Universal Champion. This will be for the WWE Championship, a title he's never won before, so we'll have to see if they put the title on him or not. Hopefully not. Now, if Goldberg does in fact win, Miz, of course, still Mr. Money in the Bank, so uh, hopefully at that point he'll cash in and become champion once again, but only time will tell. Uh, speaking of the uh, WWE Universal Championship, uh, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, and TLC rematch from last month as well. However, this time around, as that was actually a tables, ladders, and chairs main event championship match at the TLC pay-per-view, tonight it'll be last man standing with Reigns and Owens. Uh, and then, as always, uh, during the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, you have your Royal Rumble matches. Uh, we have uh, the men's and women's once again this year. Uh, actually, last night on WWE Backstage, uh, they had a uh, women's match to determine who would be number 30 in the women's Royal Rumble match. Uh, that was uh, Tamina and Natalia. Uh, with Natalia picking up the wins, so and Natalia will... Uh, enter at number 30 uh, a little bit later on as mentioned once again uh, currently have it paused have not watched it um, in the meantime since it's audio only um, I'm going to take notes um, and then you know once we get to part two of this um, audio only live reaction play the play stream live right here on YouTube um, we'll get into the full recap so this is all just going to be one video I want to make that clear this isn't going to be you know, a two-parter, even though it is a two-parter, but it's just going to be one one full video right here on YouTube. So, once again, thank you for tuning in and listening. They also announced uh, who would be number one and two for the men's Royal Rumble match. Number one will be Randy Orton. Number two will be Edge. Uh, now, um, about half of the women's Rumble match has already uh, been determined for uh, participants uh, about 20, 22, or 3, I'd say. Maybe even 24, 25. Um, not exactly sure on the count there for the men's. But um, superstars have officially, of course, announced uh, if they're in the 
Rumble matches this year. Now, normally, when they say, hey, we're entering, we're in the Rumble, um, and on top of that, have said they're going to win, they never win. So just keep that in mind. Um, And then uh, along with uh, if they'll split the brand winners, uh, meaning have uh, one winner from Raw, one winner from SmackDown, and the men's and women's Royal Rumble matches, respectively. Um, But uh, we'll begin with the women's because, ladies first, women's Royal Rumble match, Charlotte Flair, Nia Jax, and Shayna Baszler, three of the four who are in... Uh, the women's tag team championship match that actually just concluded, as mentioned with Nia and Shayna, picking up the titles once again. So maybe Charlotte wins for the second year in a row, challenges Asuka uh, for the Raw women's title. Then at WrestleMania, uh, where uh, streaks come to an end in New Orleans, uh, as that match took place coming up on three years ago now. Uh, but we'll be in Tampa come April. WrestleMania actually push back a few weeks as well. It's supposed to be before Easter, now it's after Easter. But with everything going on, schedules change, I get it. Um, so they'll have uh, plenty of time to build from now until then, of course, uh, with all the Raw, NXTs, and SmackDowns from now until then, along with the uh, upcoming pay-per-views, as mentioned, uh, with the Rumble tonight. Uh, we got NXT TakeOver on Valentine's Day. We'll see if they change the name or not to a uh, St. Valentine's Day massacre takeover event or not. Probably not, but hopefully, maybe they will. We'll see. And then a week later, February the 21st, WWE Elimination Chamber. Uh, a month from then, WWE Fastlane, uh, and that'll be the uh, first ever WWE pay-per-view on Peacock, as the WWE Network will be no more mid-March. Uh, everything on the WWE Network moving to Peacock. Uh, and then, of course, WrestleMania 37 in April. But in the women's Royal Rumble match, we got Charlotte, Nia Jax, and Shayna Baszler. And we'll get into before we even move on, because this is what I was, uh, of course, planning on uh, saying before the event started tonight. But like I said, I couldn't even hardly um, say two words, you know, let alone, you know, going on and on without it, you know, giving me some trouble. So um, we'll go over uh, potential WrestleMania matches before all these matches still to come later on tonight and then also um plan is with the notes potentially on what happens tonight uh with the recap with the rumble and then uh with my recap uh we'll see if um you know we get any more potential wrestlemania matches maybe at that point too but um women's rumble match once again charlotte nia jack shannon baser mandy rose dana brooke also along with peyton royce alexa bliss uh, with Bianca Belair and Bailey, who are probably your top three favorites in that exact order, to be honest with you. One from Raw, two from SmackDown. But then also Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Tamina, and Natalia. I'll give my pick in a second. Um, but uh, potential surprises, maybe, for the women's. Um, lots of former divas, maybe a few NXT call ups. Molly Holly, you know, Trish, Tori Wilson, you know, as a. Um, is year in and year out now. I believe the fourth year for the Women's Royal Rumble since uh, their debut in this uh, event a few years back with the debut of Ronda Rousey, who, who knows, maybe her too, along with a returning uh, Becky Lynch. Um, Rhea Ripley would probably be the one from NXT to get called up, I would think. She really has been on NXT TV as of late, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, now uh, switching focus to the men's Royal Rumble match, and then as mentioned, we'll give winners for both men's and women's here before before we move on. AJ Styles, Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, The Miz, John Morrison, Jeff Hardy, Sheamus, Mustafa, or as they've been calling him, Mustafa Ali, also of Retribution in the men's Royal Rumble match. Edge making his return as well, Daniel Bryan, Otis, um, The Usos, Sami Zayn, Cesaro, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, who, along with Cesaro, they're really not even a tag team anymore. Um, so Cesaro, once again, has a tag team partner, that tag team being split as he was uh, with Sheamus in the bar for quite a while. Has been with Nakamura for almost a year now as well, but things looking like they're uh, coming to an end there. Uh, also, the current Intercontinental Champion in Big E 
as we have both mid-card champs in this men's royal match, Lashley and Big E. Uh, so no IC or U.S. title matches tonight. They'll save those for the next upcoming um, Raw and SmackDowns, I would think, along with building towards the next upcoming pay-per-views. And then, you know, have more championship matches at WrestleMania as well. Um, because, like I said, they're going to have a lot of time from now until Mania to build. Um, because, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You can't, you know, sell yourself short and give it all away the night after the Rumble tomorrow night, potentially. Um, with, um, you know, hey, this is what's going to happen at WrestleMania. you got to build towards it. Especially with them always concerned about ratings, at least. Uh, that's what it seems like. Um, you know, and I get that. I've been over that time and time again. But, um, you know, you want to pe keep people on the other seats and uh, make them, you know, want to keep coming back and keep watching, even though, it, of course, for everyone in the Thunderdome, all virtual still. But WrestleMania, uh, they're hoping to have fans, 20, 25, 30,000 uh, from what I've heard. But, um, hey, what they want and what they're going to get are two different things, so we'll see. Um, you know, things could change, you know, for the good. Could also change for the worse from now until Mania. So we'll see. But um, hopefully everyone's uh, staying safe, as mentioned. But also, um, in the Men's Royal Rumble match, King Corbin, Ray and Dominic Mysterio from SmackDown as well. And then uh, Braun Strowman actually just returned on SmackDown the other night. Um, and um, he'll also now be in the Men's Royal Rumble match. Um should be in um i have down matt riddle just because currently right now he's in a feud with bobby lashley for the u.s title even though really they haven't had a championship match we'll see when they do officially have that for the first time um if they're gonna hold off and wait or here sometime soon you know pull the trigger so to speak um you know so matt riddle not even announced for the rumble but you would think he should be in that's why i have that down and then somebody from the Hurt Business as well, even though Lashley's in, maybe somebody else like MVP, Shelton, or even Cedric. Um, and then uh, with, uh, you know, the Rumble being, you know, the surprise return spectacle kicking off through to WrestleMania. Um, past few years, yeah, the surprises or even returns for that matter really haven't been as big or, you know, good for that matter too. But could very well see Jay White, um depending on what his situation is with New Japan Pro Wrestling. I don't think it's going to happen, honestly. But if Jay White does come to the WWE right now, um, he needs to be put with AJ Styles, who, when AJ debuted five years ago at the Rumble, he was put with Chris Jericho. And then they ended up having a match at WrestleMania 32, um, which will be in Dallas for 38, six years later. Next year, as mentioned, uh, but I, I think he's going to be staying in New Japan for the time being. Um, so maybe next year, even the year after, um, you know, at that point, come to the States um, and end up wrestling for whatever company he, you know, so damn well chooses. But um, I honestly think Jay White would be better off with AEW anyways, but we'll see. I mean, I don't think he's going to be, you know, coming out for the Royal Rumble tonight anyway so i'll leave it at that now bad bunny is performing his hit song booker t and booker t is going to be making an appearance as he did the music video already as well so maybe booker t's in the rumble now since bad bunny is performing you know why well, we have adam rose return and have him in the rumble for god's sake for your comedic segment uh, i think uh, people would um, get a laugh out of that even though I don't even think Adam Rose is wrestling anymore. But, um, and one more note, too, on the women's. Uh, as I look at my notes, I completely just glanced over it, skipped right over it. Um, Tessa Blanchard, I've been talking about her for quite a while. Um, she really hasn't wrestled um, recently, but um, we'll see what she wants to do. I mean, maybe she'll debut for the WWE. I think she'd be better off in AEW. Uh, as well, but we'll see. Probably not going to happen. But I um, heard also uh, Donald Trump's back in Florida and with, of course, WWE in Tampa at the trot for the WWE Thunderdome Royal Rumble here tonight. Hey, you never know with the relationship Vince and 
the dawn have so maybe trump and the royal rumble probably not but hey never know uh damien priest velveteen dream uh very well your nxt call-ups very well could be your nxt call-ups i should say uh and then uh andrade returning i haven't seen him in quite a while uh, i don't know what their plan is for him uh along with even alistair black keith lee ricochet everyone's favorite actor and lars sullivan uh keith lee probably not now because mia yim tested pause for covid just last night um and i mean keith lee really hasn't been on tv as late. that's why i included him on this list even ricochet uh samoa joe on commentary could as jbl's done just that with you know entering uh, a segment or a match uh to this caliber um with the apa so maybe samoa joe hopefully alistair black's going to be returning and uh, fading Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown, where the hell are going to put him, even though he's on SmackDown, was drafted SmackDown in October, but hasn't been on TV since. Um, hopefully he'll come back and be doing some good things. Uh, hopefully as well, Seth Frickin' Rollins and Messiah himself returns at the Royal Rumble. He's actually my pick to win tonight's men's Royal Rumble match. Uh, could also see The Fiend Bray Wyatt um, as... Um, He's been off TV since Randy Orton burned him alive at TLC in their uh, Firefly Inferno match. Since then, it's been uh, Alexa's playground with the Firefly Funhouse. Alexa taking over the reins and uh, sort of in a feud with the Viper himself. And now with you know potential WrestleMania matches, I do believe it'll be Orton and The Fiend at WrestleMania 37. But my winners for tonight's men's and women's Royal Rumble matches start with the women's because we started there uh, a minute ago. Ding dong, hello. Second best role model behind, of course, Dr. DMD herself, Britt Baker, Punxy Zone. Uh, happy uh, Groundhog Day to everyone this upcoming week. Uh, I'm sure Phil Connors, uh, as uh, it's been Groundhog Day for all of us almost now the past full year, come uh, next. Uh, or in a few months, next um, few weeks in March. But, um, yeah, I'm sure uh, he's excited for Groundhog Day, as Punk's Tony Phil is as well. But Punk's his own Britt Baker, of course, yeah. She's the top role model. Bailey, the second best. So Bailey, ding dong, yeah, hello. She's my pick uh, to win the women's Royal Rumble match. Uh, and then the men's Royal Rumble match, uh, I do, in fact, believe... Uh, the Messiah returns. Seth Frickin' Rollins, for the second time in his career, wins the Royal Rumble match. Now, potential WrestleMania matches. Um, as mentioned, Fiend Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton. I think that's a no-brainer. They tease that for quite a while. And this story, you know, that's sort of been put on the back burner, even though, yeah, and Bray was burned alive. Um, technically he wasn't, but that's how they made it look. So I don't want to put something out there that if you don't know about it and you're listening to this and, you know, you don't have a clue that, you know, I just said somebody was burned alive. Well, if you know, you know, so I'll leave it at that. But, um, Roman Reigns, along with Drew McIntyre, uh, as your, uh, current top champs on, uh, Raw and SmackDown, Ranger Universal Champion, um, I think with Reigns and Owens being a last man standing match for the Universal title, everyone's saying Brock Lesnar is going to uh, return, be in the Rumble match, win the whole goddamn thing, and then challenge Reigns uh, for a championship match at WrestleMania. I think Lesnar is going to appear tonight, okay? But I don't think it's going to be in the Rumble match. I think he'll interfere in the last man standing match. That's why it's last man standing match. Anything goes. Okay, it's no disqualification, no count outs, all that. Um, and then Paul Heyman with his affiliation with both these superstars now and Reigns and Lesnar. Paul Heyman turns on Roman. Or hell, he can even turn on Lesnar and, you know, Brock's by himself when he comes back and that gets Reigns over even more. But, you know, then we get a Reigns Lesnar match. Uh, once again at WrestleMania. And then it would technically, from 
my point of view at least with Rollins winning the Rumble match that's my pick everybody has their own opinion it would turn into a Wrestlemania 31 rematch of course after Rollins catching his money in the bank six years ago now uh, so Reigns Lesnar Rollins for the Universal title at Wrestlemania um, so yeah Brock returns during the last man saying match not the Rumble match um, Heyman then turns on Reigns you have your Universal title match then for Wrestlemania with Roman and Brock and then with Rollins winning make it a triple threat for the hell of it um, and then speaking of Drew McIntyre right now it's a question mark honestly you know he's got a few different options um, on his table to be honest with you I mean they could go anywhere out here uh, Strowman just returned okay on Smackdown he's still on Raw though technically we'll see if he's going to be on Smackdown though say after this weekend you know moving forward because brand to brand invitational was brought back you know they could go any route honestly McIntyre Strowman even McIntyre Keith Lee uh, they've had that as of late that's when Goldberg returned then Bobby Lashley I mean that's Drew Galloway and Lashley and TNA from a few years back but Sheamus I think is a pick there uh, they've teased this match for quite a while now really haven't done anything with it um not saying it's going to be at Wrestlemania so to speak they could do it you know before and then figure something else out for McIntyre then afterwards but you know if McIntyre doesn't have an opponent well have him face somebody else from now until Mania and then of course yeah put him up against Sheamus as they have a uh, rich history knowing one another um, and and really too um, with you know Rollins uh, cashing in six years ago coming up making a triple threat technically winning the title could see a triple threat there but then McIntyre and Sheamus Rollins could very well have to fight his way into a match on an upcoming pay-per-view along with with what I just said with okay Drew facing off against somebody else potentially before as we know yeah there's going to be championship matches at these upcoming pay-per-views because they're going to have to sell them especially Fastlane, as uh, so that'll be on Peacock. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, but really, I'm only saying this because, you know, WWE loves to go in the history books, you know, for the road to WrestleMania, especially WrestleMania sometimes, because they know it works. And, you know, more power, more credit to them, um, because they know we're going to watch as well. So, um, and, you know, for that, you know, we could see a triple threat, fatal four, five, six way um, to determine a, number one contender for whoever doesn't win the Rumble and then challenges either McIntyre or Reigns. Whoever still needs an opponent, you know, they'll go that route, I would think, um, and do something with, you know, four, five, six superstars. Because you have Elimination Chamber, you have Fastlane, uh, and then, you know, the show of shows WrestleMania. So uh, we'll see some thoughts and opinions, of course, now, as mentioned as well, if um, Jay White comes in, put him with AJ. So AJ Styles, Jay White would tear the house down. AJ and Edge, Daniel Bryan and Edge as well, potentially. Edge is a favorite, though, to win the Royal Rumble. So we'll see what happens there. Um, maybe even triple threat with the three of them. Uh, that, I think that would be a, a show stellar main event that people would absolutely buy into because you have somebody from Raw, somebody from SmackDown, and then somebody returning who's been on both and won champions on both brands in the past. Um, so, you know, Raw versus SmackDown versus a legend, a Hall of Famer, if you will, in uh, Adam Copeland. And then even Rollins potentially returning, winning the Rumble, maybe not, we'll see. He's my pick, though. You know, you could go the same route there. Rollins, Daniel Bryan, Rollins, Edge... Uh, along with a triple threat with those three. Uh, I think that would uh, absolutely steal the show as well. With um, Oscar and Charlotte, uh, my original thought was, okay, and we're still going to get to it at some point in time. Oscar and Charlotte as your women's tag team champions, actually no more because they just lost. Charlotte, I was thinking, would turn on Asuka before Mania anyway, and then we'd get a Raw Women's Championship match with those two. Uh, because, you know, going back in the history books, once again, 
nine times out of ten, that's sort of what happens in a, in a feud like that. Uh, Sasha and Bailey, with Bailey winning the Women's Royal Rumble, um, you know, you have your SmackDown Women's Title then match set up uh, with uh, two former tag team partners as well, best friends, Sasha Banks and Bailey. Um, if Lashley or even Riddle are, and I think it's going to be Riddle from now until Mania, they'll put the title on them at some point in time. Only time's going to tell. Maybe they, they wait, I don't know. As mentioned, you know, no mid card titles on the line this evening. They're going to hold off and wait, uh, and rightfully so because they got a lot to build towards. Uh, but okay, speaking of, well, Goldberg just came back. There's always talk of John Cena and the Undertaker. Well, okay, even though WWE doesn't need Cena, Taker, or Goldberg to you know be involved because you know if the booking was better with superstars they you know currently have. They wouldn't need to call on veterans to boost ratings because, once again, it's all they uh, care about, it seems like. But I'll digress on that. Cena, I think, would be a good option for Matt Riddle and vice versa, um, especially if they'd want to give uh, Riddle a big push, get him over. Hell, he could even be a favorite to win the Rumble match later on. I'm not going to be shocked if he ends up winning. Uh, but, um, bro, not this year in 2020. Uh, Cena even, honestly, could get Ali, Mustafa, Mustafa Ali, um, of Retribution, if they'd really want to get over Retribution as well. But then Cena wins, you know, nine times out of ten, which wouldn't make sense because he's, you know, turned into what The Undertaker's done at WrestleMania the past how many years. You know, that's won maybe two matches a year. Uh, but then, you know, that would ruin... Retribution ruin all Lee with with Cena going over, so just want to make sense. But then, okay, Cena's going to put him over, so be it. Like more power to him. That's that's the best option if they do that. Which I don't really see this happening, but I figured I'd you know add it in. And uh, if you have any uh, chat questions or comments about any of this, please don't hesitate. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but it'd be similar to Cena with uh, Nexus, I think with. You know, potentially what he could do with Cena and Retribution. With what they could do come Mania. Because that was, what, SummerSlam a decade ago. A little over a decade ago now. Time flies. Holy hell. Undertaker, Damian Priest. Maybe even Alistair, Velveteen Dream. I don't think Taker's wrestling there this year, honestly. I think he, he's going to be done. They, um, you know, had him right off in the sunset at Survivor Series 30 years after debuting. But Undertaker is the Undertaker, so he'll be back in some capacity, you know, whether it's wrestling, you know, a match or two here and there. He actually did just say, though, on uh, JRE that uh, he's not technically right now under a wrestling contract with the company. He's just under contract, like, as a legend, the legend he is. Mark Calloway, the Phenom, the Undertaker. So, he's still signed, but he's not signed to wrestle. But, hey, Vince is only a phone call away. Big E, Sammy, Cesaro, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Potentially triple threat, fatal four-way for the Intercontinental uh, Championship. You also have Kevin Owens, you know, K KO. Um, it's uh, good to see, finally, uh, people are starting to respect him. Uh, something they, of course, should have been doing all along, uh, as he's one of the best, if not the best, in the whole entire company, for God's sakes. Um, you know, he could be involved in, you know, something along those lines uh, with mid-card titles after the Rumble, because is he really going to face Reigns again? Probably not, but maybe. You know, then maybe they have him win the title, for God's sakes. Um, you know, last year he was saying he was going to jump off the pirate ship, now he's going to have that chance because Mania's back in Tampa at Ram James Stadium. Had to settle for jumping off the sign, but... Uh, and tonight's actually the new WrestleMania sign that they just put up tonight, I should say. Looks damn well. Pretty damn good with the uh, new Mania logo. Uh, similar to last year's, yes, because basically everything's still the same. Because uh, nothing's really changed since, you know, March, April of last year. But... Hey, they always say, 
even when uh, things change, they stay the same. So we'll see what happens with all that. But they also got to figure out, in my opinion at least, too, the tag team division with the men's and women's, for that matter, Raw, SmackDown tag champs with uh, now, once again, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, your new women's tag team champions. Those belts are supposed to be defended on Raw, NXT, and SmackDown, yet for some reason they're still only on Raw here a few years uh, after, two years technically, after they were inserted into the lineup. Uh, And then Miz is still Mr. Money in the Bank, so um, I'm sure... There's a lot weighing on him right now on when he's going to cash in. He's going to have until right now May, but if they push Money in the Bank back till June, July, okay, you could play it out even a little longer and keep people once again on the edge of their seats. But um, I still think we're going to get a Miz John Morrison match at some point in time with one of them turn on each other. I've been saying this for quite a while, and I'm going to, you know, stick to it until it actually happens, for God's sake. So, and maybe that'll be for Money in the Bank at that point, too, you know, as they had. Otis defended against Miz at Hell in a Cell. Miz, that's how he won it uh, this time around. and Technically cashed in, but didn't. Uh, they gave it back to him, so he's still money in the bank. And um, right now, McIntyre reigns. Need to watch out still. Uh, but, like I said there, you still have NXT TakeOver, along with Elimination Chamber and Fastlane uh, here in a couple weeks, and then mid-March before... Uh, the move to Peacock, and then WrestleMania 37, April the 10th and 11th, respectively, back in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. So I'll uh, leave all that right now uh, in the air for everyone to listen to, settle in your brains, and let me know what you think. But uh, we're going to officially end this. This is going to be part one of two in this uh, one video. Uh, with, as mentioned earlier, what I said there, uh, previewing technically what's just coming tonight, um, just giving picks for, you know, the the two Rumble matches. I, I do think Reigns is going to retain. Hopefully McIntyre retains as well. I really don't see any, you know, championship uh, changes, but we did just see Oscar and Charlotte drop those women's tag team titles to Nia and Shayna. So flip-flop back and forth with that so um but because of the situation here we are you know a little preview here before i would have uh with everything i would have said before i would have started there just a little bit ago live right here on youtube for live reactions play play but no unfortunately because of technical difficulties you know here we are so i wanted to get this out of the way still uh get a video uh, up and out and now uh we'll uh Actually, we'll put some music in the middle of this so you know when the hell part one ends, part two begins, and then part two technically going to be um, as it's a new year with new opportunities. However, the same dream, and that's to main event WrestleMania, get a championship main event match at Mania year in and year out. Uh, We'll uh, kick off the Royal Rumble recap here uh, in a few short hours from now. Once I hit play, as I still have a pause here, to uh, get to watch the Royal Rumble, take some notes, uh, and then uh, give a full-blown recap that you know I would normally do then always at the end of the uh, live reaction stream as well. So that's that. So uh, hopefully you're enjoying. Stick around. Enjoy this upcoming music. And um, we'll get to the... 2021 WWE Royal Rumble recap here in a second but before be sure to like follow and subscribe on social media as always links in the description below scroll down check those out hit the thumbs up button share hashtag WWE hashtag Royal Rumble chat questions and comments super chats super stickers always greatly appreciated all right now officially we are officially on the road to WrestleMania 37 Overall, good show tonight, WWE Royal Rumble, as I uh, sit here and record this recap now in this uh, second part of two for this, with everything I explained earlier, just go listen to it. 
Don't need to say it again, but oh shit, I forgot to uh, add music. Oh well. Um, not really that big of a deal, I guess. Uh, of course, wanted that in between so everyone knew when uh, part one ended and part two began, but it would have just been the same music you heard at the uh, start of this anyway, so there's that. Yeah, yeah, it really doesn't matter. You've heard it numerous times in the past, time and time again, so. Um, yeah, overall, a good show tonight for the Royal Rumble. As mentioned, this is here a little after 11 o'clock, so night, the final day of the first month of the new year, January the 31st, 2021. Uh, did have a few returns tonight. Um, we'll get more into those a little bit later on, but uh, the road to WrestleMania 37 is now, yeah, officially underway. Uh, new year, new opportunity, same dream as mentioned earlier. Uh, you win a Royal Rumble, you get to, of course, go on and headline main event WrestleMania for a uh, championship of your choosing. However, I've noticed this year, uh, including tonight, they've uh, sort of reworded uh, that saying, and it's now just basically, hey, you're going to get a championship match at WrestleMania rather than, you know, the normal main event championship match to headline the show shows WrestleMania. Um, so we'll see, of course, with the two night uh, Mania this year once again, how everything's going to go. Uh, we'll get more into potential matches, um, as I just did there earlier with the, the late preview uh, right before the show started and then sort of right as it began. But um, with the technical difficulties, you know, here we are doing something different. Hey, if it sticks, it sticks. You know, this could be something to do moving forward, but I highly doubt it. Hopefully not. As I mentioned, hopefully with those technical difficulties, it's going to be a one-time only thing that uh, I experienced tonight. But, yeah, Royal Rumble. Um, Royal Rumble 2021. Tropicana Field, the Trop in uh, St. Pete, just south of Tampa, Florida. Home of the uh, MLB's Tampa Bay Rays, the WWE Thunderdome. Uh, a place that uh, they'll be until Mania. As I mentioned, they're going to try to get around 20, 25, 30,000, maybe even a little bit more than that, maybe even a little less than that as well. Uh, fans in the stands uh, for this year's show because, you know, as mentioned with what they want and what they're going to get, two totally different things. Uh, but, uh, yeah, piping in music with the crowd noise and all that um, with the Thunderdome aspect. You know, it's all virtual, of course, because you Still can't go anywhere or do anything uh, until we all get back to normal, and hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later. Uh, but, uh, yeah, overall good show, I thought. Six total matches, four championship matches, two Royal Rumble matches uh, with championship aspects, of course, on the line to go on to Mania and wrestle in a championship match to potentially become a champion for either the first time or once again in... Uh, the careers of uh, the winners of the Royal Rumble matches in Bianca Belair and Edge. Uh, but uh, to kick off the show, they had a, uh, in my eyes at least, a Gotham-type uh, opening video package um, as they uh, shined the bat symbol high in the air with the RR logo for Royal Rumble, which was a bit different. I mean, you know, WWE, for God's sakes, it's movie level production i mean we saw that firsthand with all the cinematic matches we had last year but a um and from now until the end this is going to officially now be a full recap of the royal rumble uh from earlier um in which we did see a championship change hands saw two uh new royal rumble winners one with edge winning uh to the day that he won his other Royal Rumble and went on to Mania 26, if I'm not mistaken, 11 years ago, and uh, become champion before a injury sidelined him, and that's why it's been a big deal this past year since he returned last year to the Royal Rumble. You know, Edge returning from a very severe neck injury, wasn't supposed to wrestle again. Well, now he's back and he's the Royal Rumble winner. Once again, but the uh, Gotham opening video package, and 
Um, with the comic book theme, you know, it made sense, really. Um, I mean, you got to change it up every once in a while compared to in years past where Rumble's been sort of the same as it is year in and year out. But really, once again, this year, not really any big surprises or um, nothing major to, you know, get people talking. I mean, Bad Bunny did what he did in the Rumble match following his performance, and we'll get more into that in a second, um, along with, you know, a few returns to the company that um, was superstars we haven't seen, you know, in, in quite some time. But, uh, yeah, the video package highlighting uh, some previous Rumble matches and then, of course, advertising uh, tonight's show just ended with the uh, six matches, four championship matches, two Rumble matches once again, the uh, four championship matches. One was on kickoff pre-shows, Oscar and Charlotte versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Those were for the women's tag team titles. Opening contest was McIntyre Goldberg. We also had Sasha Banks and Carmella for the SmackDown women's title. Reigns and Owens, last man standing for the Universal title. And then your two men's and women's Royal Rumble matches as well. But who answers the call? Nia Jax and Shannon Baszler, along with Oscar and Charlotte. They kicked off the night on the kickoff pre-show. Uh, Nia and Shayna, once again, your women's tag team champs as mentioned uh, rick flair along with lacey evans got involved in this you know uh, with what i said earlier with you know oscar charlotte for the raw women's title at mania yeah still very well could happen but charlotte uh, seems to be tied up with her father and um, his new sidekick in lacey evans but uh, a good match on the kickoff pre-show and then everything for myself at least went to shit for uh the live stream this evening so here we are doing what we're doing but we got some pyro then in the WWE Thunderdome. This is going to uh, be as, tried to be at least, normal as possible with an actual live reaction play, play stream uh, live right here on YouTube for a full-blown recap now. So uh, from everything I saw, from everything that I would normally say um, during, you know, live stream, this is what we're going to get now moving forward. So... Uh, just for this, hopefully, one know we get back to normal. Come Wednesday, as mentioned, AW Beach Break, AW Dynamite Beach Break, uh, with the wedding of Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford, with of course your best man Miro, formerly known as Rusev. Happy Rusev, Happy Miro Day. Uh, but um, AW Dynamite Beach Break, WWE NXT. That's this Wednesday. Next Sunday, the Super Bowl. Week after NXT Takeover. Week after that, Elimination Chamber. A month from then, WWE Fastlane, and then WrestleMania is uh, only closer at that point in time, April 10th and 11th in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. But Pyro and the WWE Thunderdome to kick off the night, as you know, they normally nine times, nine and uh, half times out of ten normally do to kick off a pay per view, especially. Drew McIntyre and Goldberg was the opening contest for the WWE Championship. Goldberg actually uh, made his iconic entrance wearing shorts rather than his trunks. Uh, and then we saw another video package uh, for the match before uh, McIntyre's entrance. So uh, they gave Goldberg some time in the ring to, you know, think things through. Hey, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to become champion again and piss everyone off? Yeah. Uh, but as the match went on, as it was respect... And then McIntyre fighting versus dad. So he says, hey, you're next. Match started. Bell never rang, though. Okay. McIntyre uh, hit a headbutt and then a spear uh, to Goldberg in the middle of the ring before they uh, fought ringside with McIntyre being uh, sent into the steel steps. And then Goldberg hitting a spear on Drew through the barricade before Drew gets in the ring and tells the ref, hey, ring the bell, let's go, he's next, uh, McIntyre then hit a Claymore kick uh, right off the bat, Goldberg kicked out, uh, another Claymore misses as Goldberg then hits another spear in the meantime uh, before, uh, actually make that two in a row uh, with uh, Drew kicking out of both, Goldberg with the vertical suplex, the jackhammer, 
Uh, cover, very close kick out by Drew. It was like two and a half, almost three. Very close. Almost thought Goldberg was once again going to become champion, and uh, including myself, everyone would be pissed off, very livid that uh, because all the talent they have, they want to bring in somebody that can't wrestle once again for ratings when it really doesn't make much of a difference anyway, even though they say it does. It doesn't. Uh, but uh, Goldberg, in the meantime, then goes for another spear. Drew moves. Uh, and then uh, old Billy Goldberg goes into the turnbuckles in the corner. Drew, uh, as Goldberg turned around, uh, took uh, Bill Goldberg to Claymore Country. One final Claymore kick. One, two, three on the pin. And uh, Drew McIntyre defeats Bill Goldberg and retains his WWE Championship earlier tonight at the W. WE Royal Rumble as Drew McIntyre will in fact be, as of now at least he is, the WWE Champion heading into WrestleMania 37. We'll see if they give him his moment that, you know, of course they wanted to give him last year that they still ended up giving him in front of no fans but now fans back in the stands for Mania this year in Tampa, where he currently resides. Um, you know, we'll see if he's uh, going to be champion going into the night along with retaining that title uh, against whoever he's going to face. And we'll get more into uh, those storylines in a bit. But McIntyre, uh, with the win, defeating Goldberg, and he is still, once again, your WWE champion. Only lost it to Orton back uh, right after Hell in a Cell uh, for a few weeks and then won it back right before Survivor Series. But McIntyre's held this WWE championship since last WrestleMania after defeating the Beast Incarnate himself, Brock Lesnar. Uh, so another uh, win for Drew only makes him look stronger. Uh, still your WWE champion, McIntyre and Goldberg. They uh, hugged it out uh, before uh, the WWE faded to black. Uh, before he, uh, with what in fact was a WWE shop and WWE Supercard commercial. But then they panned to the announce table uh, with, of course, your Raw and SmackDown uh, commentators with Tom Phillips, Byron Saxon, Samoa Joe from Monday Night Raw, and then Michael Cole and Corey Graves for Friday Night SmackDown. But the next match was, in fact, Sasha Banks and Carmella, as, in fact, the boss was about to defend her SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, Carmella and uh, Captain Phillips made their entrance. However, we got a recap uh, from a previous SmackDown for the uh, current story with uh, Sasha and Carm. Uh, before Kayla Braxton interviewed Sasha backstage in gorilla position uh, before her entrance. But uh, the bell ended up ringing. Match was uh, quickly underway. Uh, Takedown uh, from Sasha, but uh, Carmella, even though she's not fabulous anymore, she still is. Uh, of course, Cole and Graves were on the call for this. Uh, she escaped to ringside before re-entering the ring. Uh, Reggie Somalier got involved, causing a distraction in which uh, Mella Money took control of. Had a takedown around the announce table as well, and then uh, Mel uh, used various maneuvers, is what I have uh, wrote down here in my notes. Uh, she used various maneuvers back in the ring uh, before it uh, turned into a back-and-forth match, uh, which it did. Uh, and as I mentioned, overall a good night, good show for the Rumble, uh, the, for the four championship matches and the two Rumble matches. But uh, Carmella was even uh, trash talking Sasha at one point, saying how much better she is than her because she is Carmella. And she is F A B U L O U S, even though right now she's not anymore, even though she still is. Uh, but Reginald uh, was tossed then from ringside, or Reggie himself. Um, Captain Phillips sidekick. That's why I said that a minute ago. If you didn't catch that, well, your loss, not mine. But thank you for listening. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe as always on social media. Links in the description below. Thumbs up button once more. Share hashtag WWE. Hashtag Royal Rumble. Chat questions and comments. Super chat, super stickers. Always greatly appreciated. Red subscribe button. Notify bell next to as well. Especially the notify bell next to as well. So you can be notified whenever new content is in fact published but then Carmella uh, after Reggie was tossed from ringside from the official 
Uh, Mella hit a suicide dive uh, right after, before a breakup uh, on the pin, and then a quick roll up from Sasha. But back and forth we go again uh, with uh, the pinfalls, and the match continues. Sasha, uh, she then went up top for a, a frog splash, uh, no on a uh, submission, and then a reversal uh, with uh, some more back and forth action. But uh, Sasha locked the bank statement in and picked up the win, retaining her SmackDown Women's Championship here tonight at the Royal Rumble against Carmella. So three championship matches so far, only one title change, and that's Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler once again your women's tag team champions as they defeated Oscar and Charlotte. But Drew McIntyre retained over Goldberg. Sasha Banks also retained over Carmella. We then uh, go backstage to the New Day back at uh, full strength. They were honoring the late great Mr. Brody Lee, the exalted one himself, with their ring gear, which was a little emotional, especially just with it only being a little over a month since he passed away. But now in the meantime, the Dark Order, trying to figure out what the hell they're going to do moving forward. But New Day backstage, uh, it was actually just Xavier and Big E talking. And, of course, wearing the Brody Lee ring gear, Rumble last night. Sami Zayn appeared. He popped up, popped in, and uh, was uh, calling the New Day poster boys before Kofi Kingston absolutely scared the shit out of him. Um, so that's why I said back at full strength there. Um, even though Kofi is still not uh, cleared to return, still injured, he was in ring gear as he was, you know, going to wrestle, but he did not. Um, but the New Day, hey, when one of us wins the Royal Rumble, we all win the Royal Rumble. Uh, but then they uh, go to Bad Bunny, who performed right on the entrance stage. Booker T was just standing there until Bad Bunny was done. Of course, the song he sang was called Booker T. Um, now, earlier, our truth showed up uh, on the kickoff pre-show uh, looking for Bugs Bunny, dressed as Elmer Fudd. Uh, but that, until a little bit later on, didn't go anywhere. But all Booker T, you know, said at the end was, can you dig that sucker? So, um, it was all right. I mean, just to fill in, honestly, they didn't need them. But we'll see if they use them moving forward or not. Um, because, yeah, Bad Bunny's performance with Booker T. If you call that singing, all right, whatever, but no. Just, it was not that good. In my opinion, but everybody has their own opinion. You know, I don't even think a lot of people really knew, wrestling fans at least, uh, knew who he was is until last night. Unless, of course, you listen to that type of music all the time. But as mentioned, everybody has their own opinion. So, you know, you could listen to this type of music, whatever genre. You could listen to it all, you know. I mean, I've known who he is, but... And I get WWE brings in celebrities every once in a while, um, you know, to fill a void that they think needs filled. And, I mean, if there's something there, okay, so be it. But, and I get, you know, Booker T was involved because the song's Booker T. Booker T's on, you know, panels. And they got him involved with them just standing there as he looked in the music video, looked the same at the top of the entrance. So, yeah, Bad Bunny's performance, uh, the Rumble match, first two Rumble matches, the women's, was next. Natalia, of course, coming out at 30. She defeated Tamina the night before to be backstage to earn that number 30 spot. But we had a uh, Rumble video package with uh, all the stats imaginable, thanks to Corey Graves. Uh, over the years, uh, about 1,100 participants 30 all-time winners with the last four winners having won titles at WrestleMania. So uh, history on the side of both uh, Bianca Belair, who ended up winning the Women's Rumble, but we're going to get into the full match here in a second, along with Edge moving forward. History on their side uh, to potentially win a uh, championship at WrestleMania 37 in April. But of course, one and two start, one to 30. Um, 10 second uh, countdown clock after one and two officially start, but 
only way to win uh, is to be basically the last man standing. Um, you win the over-the-top rope rumble. You get a main event championship match at Mania. Plain and simple. You got to eliminate um, your opponent by throwing him over the top rope. Both feet have to hit the floor as well, but um, I think everyone knows what a Royal Rumble match is by now, for God's sake. It's a battle royal, but it has more implications, uh, especially with this time of year in the WWE. But Bailey kicked it off at one. Naomi returning was two. And then Bianca Belair came out at three. So both the winners started very, very early. Belair at three. Edge ended up being number one, even though they advertised the night before he'd be two on WWE backstage with Orton one. Edge was one, Orton was two, even though it was reversed the night before. They changed their minds again. But then Billy Kay came out at four. Uh, she went straight to commentary, though, uh, before uh, going to everyone who entered the match after uh, trying to get them to team up with her. And it ended up working out for a time, but Shotzi Blackheart came out at 5, followed by Shayna Baszler. So Shotzi up from NXT at 5. Tony Storm as well at 7. Uh, however, Shotzi was the first eliminated by Shayna Baszler. Jillian Hall made a return. She was the next contestant in the Royal Rumble match at number 8. And then uh, Jillian Hall says yes to teaming with Billy Kay. So Billy and Jilly team up and get in the ring. Ruby Riot was 9. Victoria, looking like uh, Spider-Man, came out at 10. And then at this point in time, Shotzi was the only one eliminated. Uh, and then Peyton Royce, 11. Santana Garrett, 12 from NXT as well. Liv Morgan, 13. However, uh, Jillian Hall ended up uh, and she sided with Billy Kay. Billy turned on her. Jillian was eliminated by Billy Kay. Rhea Ripley then entered at 14. Uh, number 14 uh, with the women's and men's rumble uh, has to do with NXT, and we'll get to that in a second. But then Rhea just went on a uh, rip and uh, ended up eliminating a few different women in Tony Storm and Santana Garrett, even before Charlotte came out. At 15, Shayna also eliminated Victoria in the meantime. But then uh, Charlotte came out at 15. Bailey eliminates Ruby Riot. Dana Brooke, 16. Tori Wilson, at 17. Uh, and then Rhea Ripley also eliminated Dana Brooke. Ric Flair was 18. Yes, Ric Flair was 18 in the women's Royal Rumble match. But it was just the woo. He came out, followed by... Lacey Evans. So 18 ended up being Lacey Evans. Charlotte and Lacey ended up fighting each other ringside while still in the match because, of course, they went underneath the bottom rope. Only way to win the Rumble is to go over the top rope and both feet have to the floor to be eliminated once more. Uh, but then uh, Peyton Royce and Tori Wilson were uh, both eliminated as well in the meantime, both uh, by Bailey. Before Mickey James, the Monday Night Milf herself, came out at 19. Nikki Cross at 20. Alicia Fox at 21. So the Foxy Fox is back. Our truth ended up coming out, though. So two men in the women's Royal Rumble match with Ric Flair and Our truth Our truth came out, and then uh, Alicia Fox became the 24-7 champion for a time. Mandy Rose at 22. However, uh, Mandy eliminated Alicia Fox. So then, as Foxy was ringside after being eliminated, Truth rolled her up right away ringside to become 24-7 champion once again for the 10,000th time uh, before being chased off by everyone else in the hunt for the 24-7. Dakota Kai was 23. Lacey Evans uh, eliminated Mickey James before Carmella came out at 24. Rhea eliminated Dakota Kai and Mandy Rose. Carmella eliminated Nikki Cross. So we're down to, you know, a few left here. Tamina came out at 25, so, you know, really that match on backstage really didn't mean a whole lot because Tamina came out at 25 and Natalya came out at 30. But then Tamina uh, eliminated Carmella. Lana, Alexa Bliss came out at 26 and 27, respectively. However, Alexa uh, got a little too far ahead of herself, started playing mind games, but... Rhea wasn't having uh, any of that and eliminated her, so Rhea Ripley with another elimination in the women's Royal Rumble match. Ember Moon came out at 28, Nia Jax at 29, 
And then uh, we saw a lot of eliminations before, of course, Natalia came out at 30. And then we were down to five. So Shayna Baszler eliminated Lacey Evans. Nia Jax eliminated Ember Moon. Nia and Shayna, they both together eliminated Naomi, who was still in the match from earlier. Along with Tamina before they all went at it. And then Nia turned her back on Shayna, eliminated her. Nia saying, I had to do it. Nia eliminated herself, however, shortly after, uh, after going after Lana, who, as mentioned, entered at 26, returning uh, for the first time about a month or so. And then Natalia at 30, and then Nia and Shayna, even though both were already eliminated, they re-enter the ring and wreak havoc. I don't think, from uh, what I can recall, they eliminated anybody else, but they just continued to wreak havoc, and then we were down to five. The final five was Natalia, Lana, Charlotte, Rhea Ripley, and Bianca Belair, who, along with, you know, everyone in both these men's and women's Royal Rumble matches, at, at some point in time, you know, they all fought each other if they were in there, you know, all at once. Um, hopefully, you know, there's no COVID outbreaks, especially with social distancing. Um, but as long as, you know, from now until the end of February, say they have one and they get through that, you know, you got all of March and a few weeks in April there before mania, it'll all be fine and dandy. So, um, I'll digress on that, but hopefully everyone's staying safe. I mean, it's really not going to matter anyway. They'll they'll do what they got to do as they, you know, done for years in the past anyway. So, um, final five once again: Natalia, Lana, Charlotte, Rhea Ripley, and Bianca Belair. Natalia eliminated Lana. Bianca Belair eliminated Natalia, and then uh, Bianca and Rhea both eliminated Charlotte. So then we're down to our final two with Bianca and Rhea. Before Bianca Belair won tonight's, this year's women's Royal Rumble match. Uh, she then got interviewed by Kayla Braxton in the Miller Ring. Uh, it was quite emotional. Uh, shouting out uh, friends and family. You know, the uh, typical, that was then, this is now. Uh, with uh, Bianca's success throughout the years. Uh, but then uh, as Bianca Belair won, we had... More commercials, including a WWE Icons look at Yoko Zuna before the Miz and John Morrison, hey, hey, ho, ho, are walking backstage. They knock on uh, Bad Bunny's door. Uh, Miz actually uh, told him, said, hey, we'll turn you into a megastar. But, of course, Bad Bunny said no. Miz then uh, ran it about Booker T., in his career before, of course, King Booker himself showed up behind him. Tell me you just didn't say that. Well, Miz did, and then Miz and Morrison walked off, and we'll get more into that story in a second. But then they uh, cut to the kickoff pre-show panel for some unknown reason in the middle of the show. Uh, R-Truth interrupted again, as he did earlier, dressed once again as Elmer Fudd, looking for Bugs Bunny, as Bad Bunny performed with Booker T earlier, but as our truth showed up again, Peter Rosenberg, he said John Cena, who our truth just loves and adores and admires him to a T, Rosenberg said that Cena was at the Rumble. Uh, truth walked off, but then uh, Rosenberg from behind hit Ron Killings with a low blow. And Peter Rosenberg, yes, in fact, did become the new 24-7 champion here tonight at the Royal Rumble. However, next, the last man standing match for the Universal Championship was, in fact, next, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens. But, of course, first, the video package, as actually this match was originally supposed to be Reigns versus postman Adam Pearce, uh, but card always subject to change. Signed the contract, Owens replaced Pierce, and a third rematch in the past uh, month or so between Reigns and Owens as they fought at TLC, uh, fought uh, Christmas, New Year's inside a steel cage, 
uh, respect on the line. Uh, but um, we'll see what happens moving forward after this because I'm about to dive into what happened here, of course, obviously. But, yeah, with all the respect, as Owens, as Michael Cole stated, fights for his family, Reigns uses his family. Um, Reigns, Universal Champion, Owens, if he wins, okay. If he doesn't, which he's not going to, unfortunately. What do they do with him? You know, that that's a big question, but... In my opinion, at least, give me these two, you know, all year long, for God's sakes, in a feud. Reigns now, yeah, this is the best he's looked, I think, as the big dog, tribal chief, head of the table, in quite some time, probably since the Shield, you know, because it's totally different. Uh, hey, you'll never see it coming since he returned at SummerSlam and then won the title at Payback and has held it since, and he's going to hold it into WrestleMania, potentially even coming out of Mania. We'll see, but yeah, give me these two all year long, for God's sakes. Regardless of the title for not, like, there's just so much chemistry. Uh, you can at least tell there is. I mean, and there, there's just so much more that they could, you know, potentially do. But the thing is, they're probably going to do away with it. But if if they, you know, keep it going, you know, yeah, people are going to get mad. But you know, you've done it for this long. Why not do it a little bit more? Uh, because, you know, what else is, like I said, Owen's going to be doing if, if he's not up against range right now? I'm sure, yeah, they'll find something for him to do, as they always do, but he needs a title for God's sakes. I don't care what it is, but at the same point in time, he doesn't because he's just so damn good, you know? But, um, so now into the match, as, uh, of course, they, uh, both made their entrances. Owen's actually stared down the new WrestleMania sign. As he uh, entered the ring, remember last year he jumped off of that as he wanted to jump off the uh, pirate ship in Tampa, but the 36th annual WrestleMania was moved to the PC in Orlando, so he jumped off the WrestleMania sign from inside through Seth Rollins on the announce table during WrestleMania last year. Uh, But now the big dog, Travel Chief, who's of course at the head of the table, Roman Reigns came out. As we begin, and in my opinion, before we get into this, and I'll, I'll probably say it again, uh, as it was a uh, very, very good back and forth last man standing match, my eyes, I thought it was the best match of the night, uh, even over the men's and women's Royal Rumble matches combined, for that matter. I thought this match absolutely stole the show, it was just awesome. Uh, but rights and lefts, back and forth from uh, both competitors. Uh, from the get-go before a Superman punch from Roman Reigns and then a pop-up powerbomb from Kevin Owens. Uh, Now they uh, ended up fighting ringside with Reigns going into a steel post before Owens was sent into a set of steel steps before a Roman Reigns spear. So back and forth, back and forth here, uh, but uh, they ended up fighting into the uh, virtual crowd Inside the WWE Thunderdome as Reigns hit Owens a few times with those uh, steel steps before uh, a super kick uh, as well. But uh, Owens then, come on, telling Reigns this, let's see your people uh, as he threw Reigns into the LED board. Uh, But uh, they continue to fight as it's last man standing. Anything goes, you know, where the hell's Tim Tollman Taylor at when you need him. Uh, But... uh, fighting into the crowd with uh, some steel chair shots now. So basically other than kendo sticks, which as of late, those have turned into like the top weapon of, of choice other than the steel chair. Uh, they, they used uh, a few different weapons in this last man standing match, uh, including with what's you know still yet to come, and I'll get to it in a second. Uh, but uh, we got to see a behind the scenes of the Thunderdome platform with as far high as they fought up before a stunner from Kevin Owens. Uh, Superman punch then before Reigns throws Owens off the top of the Thunderdome concourse through a table down below. Owens was out for a little while. Of course, last man standing. You have to be last man standing when you you have to answer the count at 10 if you want to keep the match going. Owens, uh, he made the count at 9. So the match continued uh, as they... uh, started to fight backstage which uh, we got to see a behind the scenes look at how the new WWE Thunderdome is uh, set up inside of a baseball stadium 
in Tampa, home of the Tampa Bay Rays once more. But uh, Owens, as he's walking around, okay, like just stumbling, trying to get to his feet, uh, trying to find Roman Reigns in the process, just out of nowhere, where the hell is Matt Hardy and Sammy Guevara when you need them as well? Owens gets run over by Roman Reigns, who was driving a golf cart. Okay? And this one looked a little bit more powerful than the other that I just brought up with AEW. WWE actually did a few things AEW's done in the past. Um, and, you know, really, at this point, who cares? You know, they all copy each other all the time anyway. It's just when one big thing or even one little thing, uh, whether it goes unnoticed or not, and it happens, you know, during a big pay-per-view or whatever the case may be, okay, yeah, it might blow up as this did, but, like, come on. It's pro wrestling. Like, there's how many superstars, how many wrestlers that have same move sets, you know, like, for God's sakes, how many people use the spear, you know? How many people used the choke slam in the past? Like, everybody puts each other in a headlock, for God's sakes, nine times out of ten to start the match off after they lock up. So, yeah, Owens got uh, ran over by Roman Reigns' golf cart. I don't know why they didn't do this at TLC. Because that was Christmas time, they could have played, you know, Owens got ran over by a Reigns golf cart rather than a reindeer. But hey, they do it last man standing at the Rumble a month later. But then Owens ended up taking down, going to town with punches uh, on Roman Reigns, calling him a uh, son of a bitch in the process and telling him to uh, get his ass up before a pop up power bomb from Owens through an announce table backstage uh, but I am the table as it didn't break at first so Owens then uh, climbed on top of uh, some of those travel trunks they have just sitting around hit a frog splash off of that through Reigns on his head of the table if you will so to speak but Reigns then uh, also ended up making the count of nine and the match continued Owens had a mini ladder okay Hit Reigns without a few times. Then he saw a bigger ladder. However, said, screw that. There's a forklift. I'm going to uh, jack this up, climb to the top of the forklift, and uh, jump off that, which Kevin Owens did. So Owens got up top of the forklift, jumped off with a swanton bomb through Reigns, who was laying on another table, and uh, they went through that, broke that table, However, they were fighting into guerrilla position. Then a uh, short time later, they actually cut to a replay, so they didn't take the cameras in there, but they cut to a replay before re-entering the Thunderdome. Reigns, however, uh, answered the count at nine for a third time before another Superman punch, and then a spear through the entrance, which you ended up seeing a little bit later on in the men's royal match, which main event of the show, uh, with there's like a, a block that was taken out of the uh, LED board, the screen, because that was where Reigns speared Kevin Owens through the entrance. And in the meantime, as Owens was just laying there unconscious, ref was counting, but he, he made the count once again. Reigns got a pair of handcuffs from somebody. I don't know who, but he, just, he showed up with a pair of handcuffs, all right? But they ended up fighting back and forth before another stunner. Owens ended up handcuffing Reigns to a steel post. The official got to nine. Reigns took him out because he was about to lose because he couldn't get up. He couldn't stand the hell up, so Reigns just took him out. We had a new official come out uh, later, but Reigns, uh, after he took the official out, hit Owens with a low blow. So a few uh, low blows earlier. Heyman, in the meantime, comes over with a key to unlock the handcuffs that Roman Reigns is locked up in. Uh, that, by the way, he's locked to a, a steel post. Uh, so that took some time. Uh, sort of a botch, but 
nonetheless, the match is still going on. Heyman was taking his good old time trying to get Reigns unlocked uh, from that steel post with the handcuffs. But Reigns uh, then put Owens in a submission. Owens, unfortunately, then does not answer the count of 10 with this new ref. And uh, the last man standing was, in fact, Roman Reigns. And the big dog, Tribal Chief, head of the table, retains his Universal Championship in tonight's last man standing Universal Championship match as Roman Reigns is still your WWE Universal Champion. Very good match, in my opinion, as mentioned, best match of the night. And then we have a WrestleMania promo, as Mania is everyone's favorite number, 69 days away. However, next it is main event time. Men's Royal Rumble match. Edge came out at 1. Randy Orton came out at 2. Uh, even though they announced uh, the opposite on WWE Backstage, as mentioned, with Orton being 1 and Edge 2, they flipped it. Edge was 1, Orton 2 to kick off the Rumble match. So, Edge uh, runs to the top of the ramp after he already entered. He was in the ring. Tax Orton, who was coming out. That's how the match started. Sami Zayn came out at 3, Mustafa, Mustafa Ali at 4, Jeff Hardy at 5. But then Orton, um, as they all ganged up on Edge there for a short time as well, Orton hit three RKOs on Jeff Hardy, Sami Zayn, and Mustafa Ali uh, before he got speared by Edge. Uh, And then a uh, DDT from uh, Copeland on the announce table ringside so they of course didn't eliminate themselves by any means edge had a close call a little bit later on uh towards the end of the match almost uh not being able to hang on but of course they they slipped out underneath the bottom rope to fight ringside there for a short time uh but then Dolph Ziggler was six edge in the meantime uh as it uh sort of turned into a edge Randy Orton main event match singles competition during the men's Royal Rumble match. But uh, Edge with a steel chair shot to Orton. Dolph eliminated Jeff Hardy. Nakamura came out at 7. Orton then ended up getting medical attention ringside before being helped to the back uh, by some officials. So you know damn well he's going to be back later. Uh, But it did look pretty serious. He was really selling it. Uh, I think it was his left knee. Yeah, left knee. Uh, Carlito came back, munching on his apples at 8. And then, uh, speaking of apples, Apple Day keeps the doctor away. Shinsuke Nakamura and Carlito had an apple segment in the middle of the ring. Before Xavier Woods and then Big E came out at 9 and 10. Before the New Day eliminated Sami Zayn. So, moving forward, Big E, Sami for the IC Championship probably. With, you know, Nakamura and Cesaro too. Like I said earlier. But, um... Now, in the meantime, you got to listen because number 11, you know, make believe. John Morrison was 11. Mustafa ended up eliminating Xavier before Big E eliminated Mustafa Ali. Ricochet was 12. Elias the Drifter returned at 13. He eliminated Carlito. Damian Priest was 14, as Rhea Ripley was also 14 in the women's Royal Rumble match. So, two NXT call ups at 14. However, Punishment Martinez, Damian Priest, of course, eliminated Elias. We then take a live look in at Randy Orton backstage in the trainer's room. Before Miz came out at 15, he ended up destroying Bad Bunny's set at the entrance, which, of course, caused him to come out. Priest eliminated both Miz and Morrison uh, a few minutes later. And then uh, Bad Bunny with the uh, frog splash off the top rope to Miz and Morrison ringside. That's the other uh, that I was saying with uh, WWE copying with what AEW's done as of late. Snoop Dogg, of course, off the top rope with the frog splash as well. Um, And then uh, you you have your uh, Corona with uh, Snoop and Bad Bunny. But um, match continued. Matt Riddle came out at 16. Daniel Bryan at 17. Kane was 18. Kane returned as uh, Glenn Jacobs uh, eliminated a, a, a few more participants in Dolph Ziggler and Ricochet. We had a Team Hell No reunion as well uh, with uh, Kane and Daniel Bryan. Uh, but uh, Kane with the choke slam before Damian Priest eliminated the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. 
King Corbin was 19. Corbin, he eliminated Nakamura and Otis, who ended up entering uh, at 20. And then Dominic Mysterio came out at 21. Dom eliminated the King, so we could see a Rey Mysterio, uh, King Corbin with Dominic in the fold type of match at some point, I would think. Also, Seth Rollins potentially returning. We'll get more into that in a second. Um, you know, they could revisit the Rollins Mysterio feud because Murphy really has not a whole lot as of late. Um, but we'll see what they do. Uh, we also had Bobby Lashley of the Hurt Business of 22, your current United States champion. Lashley eliminated Priest. And then there's a hurricane coming at 23 inside the Thunderdome. Uh, he, however, he was eliminated right away by Big E and Bobby Lashley. Christian was 24. As he ended up making it the whole way to the end to the final four. But then uh, as AJ Styles came out at 25, Almost was by his side. Almost eliminated Bobby Lashley along with Rey Mysterio. So we could see AJ and Rey, AJ and Lashley. You know, Raw and Raw, Raw and SmackDown. Uh, a lot of, you know, different options moving forward. But it's really all just going to depend on what they do on Raw and SmackDown this week. You know, to set the um, course moving forward uh, on the road to WrestleMania now. Uh, even with all the time they have to build before now. And April the 10th and 11th. But AJ was 25. Rey Mysterio was 26. Big E got eliminated. 27 was Sheamus. Rey Mysterio, as mentioned with Lashley, both eliminated by Almos. And then Cesaro was 28. And as uh, Sheamus entered one slot earlier, we just don't set the bar. We are the bar. We had a reunion there as well before Cesaro uh, takes Sheamus along with Daniel Bryan uh, swinging as uh, DB had at that point been in the match for a little while after he entered at 17. The Messiah, Seth Frickin' Rollins, returned at 29. I personally thought he was going to return at 30 and win the whole goddamn thing, as I said, but returned at 29. Strowman ended up being 30 after he returned on SmackDown just uh, on Friday night. Strowman, right off the bat, eliminated Cesaro, Sheamus, and AJ Styles. And then Seth Rollins eliminated Daniel Bryan and Riddle, who was still in the match, okay? But keep in mind, Randy Orton is still technically in this match, all right? He's been backstage nursing that so-called injury. Uh, we'll see if he comes back. As mentioned, you would think he's going to, but we'll see. Just hold on a second. So a few more eliminations before the final four was Edge, Christian, Seth Rollins, and Braun Strowman. Plus, once again, Randy Orton still hasn't uh, re-entered the match Hasn't come back out yet, so technically a final five there with those four or five competitors. Rollins eliminated Strowman and Christian. So you're down to Rollins, who I thought at that point was going to beat Edge, but Edge was still in the match. So Edge eliminated Seth Rollins, thinks he's won, turns around, Orton hits him with an RKO. Orton just reemerges as he's in the middle of the ring. Randy Orton with an RKO out of nowhere on Edge. However, uh, Edge with a quick reversal before throwing Orton over the top rope, eliminating the Viper. Edge eliminates Orton. Edge wins the men's Royal Rumble match. And uh, now he will also go on to main event WrestleMania. So potential WrestleMania matches, Drew McIntyre Edge, Roman Reigns Edge, um... You know, we'll see what they do with the mid-card titles, even the tag team titles as well. Hopefully we'll get some, you know, good just basic single matches that are, uh, as they always do, hopefully steal the show. Um, you know, last year was the Boneyard match along with the Firefly Funhouse match. Now, yeah, credit, both of those were uh, cinematic-type matches because of the situations uh, they were in. Uh, but AJ Styles, Undertaker, Fiend Bray Wyatt, John Cena, you know, those are those type of single matches that I'm referring to um, because even even before you know you get um, just regular single matches at Wrestlemania and you know sometimes they're better than the, the championship matches that they put on so we'll see what happens but um, 
that's uh, this video. So thank you for tuning in and uh, listening. Sorry for any technical difficulties by any means. Hopefully we'll get those uh, figured out in the meantime and get back to normal. Uh, but I, as mentioned, uh, wanted to still get a video out for this. But that's a, a full recap of what took place at Rumble here tonight in the WWE Thunderdome as we kick off 2021 and the road to WrestleMania. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought, what you think, all that. The normal, the usual, all that, and more in the near future. So, um, once again, thank you for tuning in and listening. As always, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on social media. Links in the description below, but um, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, once again, your new women's tag team champions. Drew McIntyre, Sasha Banks, and Roman Reigns still retaining their WWE, WWE SmackDown Women's, and WWE Universal Championships tonight at the Royal Rumble before Bianca Belair and the Rated R Superstar Edge won this year's men's and women's Royal Rumble matches as officially we are on the road to wrestlemania 37 april the 10th and 11th in tampa florida live reactions put up play live right here on youtube hopefully you'll tune in once again sorry for any technical difficulties but wanted to still get a video out so here we are and once again thank you for listening and uh i'll see everybody down the road but bianca belair and uh, edge your 2021 royal rumble winners